What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know I have not made a video on this channel in like weeks. I feel like it's been forever since I sat down and talked to you guys and I am so sorry, but get ready to sit back and relax because we are going to be spilling loads of tea in this video. So get your popcorn because the tea is ready. I asked you guys to ask me questions on Twitter using the hashtag. Actually, I didn't give you guys a hashtag. I should have thought of a hashtag. I didn't think of one. But if you guys are not following me on Twitter, it will always be linked inside the description box. So make sure you guys go do that. I do DM sprees and I always screenshot y'all's DMs to me and I put them on my Instagram story. And yeah, I love doing that. So make sure you guys are following me on Twitter because I love giving you guys advice. But you guys asked me a ton of juicy questions. So let's dive right into the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification. Join the notification squad um, because I'm going to be uploading a lot more frequently on this channel and I'm really excited to just post more on this channel I post a lot on my vlog channel shout out to the vlog channel it's so lit over there if you're not subscribed to the vlog channel you're missing out on like 95% of my life so you should definitely go do that but yeah I'm gonna stop rambling and we are going to jump into the video did you have an imaginary friend as a child I did actually um I don't remember what her name was I think actually her name was Ruthie because I was obsessed with like was there a show that I was obsessed with with a girl named Ruthie? I don't know, but her name was Ruthie, and I had her when I was like six. I think it was like a year, like six to seven. And uh, yeah, I think we all go through a phase where we have like imaginary friends. Did you guys have imaginary friends? Because I only had one, so. How much do you love coffee? I love coffee, but I'm not like a black coffee drinker. I can't just have like coffee without cream. I have to have coffee with coconut milk. I love coconut milk. If you guys are wondering what my Starbucks order is, it is a iced vanilla latte with coconut milk and a little bit of caramel. It's the best thing ever and you'll thank me later. Are you single? Technically, I'm taken. I mean, Meredith is my wife, so I mean, I'm married. How old were you when you had your first kiss? I answered this in a couple Q&As ago, I feel like. Uh, but I was 17 and a half. I was kind of a late bloomer. Um, but yeah, it was in a movie theater and it was terrible. Never kiss in a movie theater. It's just really awkward. We were sitting like in the middle. There were people behind us, people in front of us. It was terrible. Just don't do it. Favorite memory associated with Meredith? Um, lately, Meredith and I have been like working out together. Uh, we train with MacFit. He is absolutely amazing. So I've been having a lot of good memories with her. With that, we go a lot. Well, she goes more than me. The times that I do go, I go with her. And it's like we motivate each other. I like working out with my best friend, so yeah, if you have a friend, go work out with them. Serious question, favorite nail brand? Ooh, that's really hard. I love Essie. I think they're so affordable. They're really sweet to me. I have a great connection and relationship with the people that have created Essie, so I'm just gonna have to go with Essie. Have you ever been to Europe? Yes, I have, and I definitely wanna go back. I miss London so much, and I met a lot of you guys out in London, and you guys were amazing, sending me like letters to my hotel room and stuff. It was intense. Now, moving on to the tea. I'm about to spill some major tea. I'm about to expose some people, so. Sorry, we're getting lit. If you guys want to get my mug, make sure you guys use my... If you guys want to get my mug, use the coupon code T-Squad uh, for 20% off. And this is going to be going on until March 10th. So get your mug today. Rudest celebrity you've ever met. Now, I have a story time. This is 100% truthful. True story. The rudest celebrity I've ever met was two years ago, I was at this beauty event and I met Gwen Stefani and I was so excited to meet her. I loved her so much. I listened to all her music, Sweet Escape, like Yummy, like songs that weren't even popular I listened to when I was really, really young. I was all about Gwen Stefani. It was me and a bunch of other influencers, like beauty gurus, and we were all like standing at this place. It was really cute. It was like a little tea, tea party they had. Funny, ironic tea party. I got the mug, we're spilling tea. Her representation came over to me and the other influencers and they were like, Gwen Stefani really wants to meet you guys. She thinks it's so cool that you guys are like influencers. And at the time I just turned 18, I was really young. I was excited. I was like, woo. And I was so excited. I'm like, wow, I get to meet Gwen Stefani. I'm gonna tell her how much I love her music because again, like. I listen to her music all the time. Wind it up was the jam. So I go up to her and she says hi to all of us and I'm like hi and then I kind of had get my one-on-one -on -one with her because we all kind of got like one-on-one -on -one with her and this wasn't a meet and greet or anything like her representation wanted to meet us influencers. So I was like well I'm gonna tell her how much like her music changed my life and like how she was the second album I ever bought like with my own money when I was younger. So I went up to her and I was like hi Gwen I love your music so much I just want to say like you're so talented you're so amazing like all this stuff and she looks at me. She she looks at me and she just goes, no thank you, no nice to meet you, nothing. She goes, then I was like, I was shook. I was like, oh, oh, okay. Like you're not even going to say thank you. A simple thank you would have been perfectly fine. No, she just laughed in my face. And then I was like, okay, well it's time for me to take a photo with her. And she wouldn't touch me at all. No hand hug, nothing. She was like, and then she left. 
this situation happened to all the other influencers as well and like I was with some of the nicest influencers that she did this to maybe she was having a bad day whatever but like I'm just I'm just the type of person that like if I compliment somebody just say thank you you know if you guys met me one day randomly it was raining outside and you were like listen Tila I love your videos and if I just laughed at your face like that is so messed up so that was the rudest celebrity I've ever met. I was very shook. But you know, no hate towards Gwen, but that is a true story. It happened two years ago. And yeah, that's the only like encounter that ever like really shook me up. I was like, wow, she's she's something else. I met Ariana Grande before and I have nothing but great things to say about her. She was the sweetest girl ever. She was so sweet. I met her mom, her brother. I have nothing bad to say about Ariana Grande. I don't know why people always come for Ariana. She's great, she was so nice, and she's so talented. But yeah, Gwen, I don't know. I don't know. Um, do you have a crush right now? No, I'm not crushing on anyone right now. I'm kind of crushless. There's no one I'm talking to. Favorite Netflix show? I mean, my all-time favorite Netflix show is Stranger Things. I loved it. I watched it twice. Like, original. Netflix original. Probably Stranger Things. I don't know. Gossip Girl is just the best. I feel like you can watch that all the time. So, yeah. Gossip Girl for sure. It's very so cute. Sierra got it for me for Valentine's Day. I have not named her yet, so let me know in the comments down below what I should name her. Because I don't want to name her something basic. I mean, she's a part of the Savage. She can't be basic, so... Let me know what I should name her. Well, that is all for this q and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Exposing some tea, sipping some tea. Um, I really love you guys. And make sure you guys give this video a big old thumbs up. And leave me a comment down below what I should name the bear. Because, again, we got to give her a savage name. I'll see you guys in the next video. And, yeah, bye.